everyone, I am Ankita and welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. I am wearing a Santa hat because it's Christmas. Yes, it is that time of the year when we all are getting ready and the Christmas trees are looking absolutely beautiful. Santa is in every mall. Kids are dying to get gifts. But what are we trying to do? We are trying to party. Exactly. Parties everywhere, parties here, parties there. And when we go to a party, what do we like to drink on a Christmas Eve? An eggnog. Yeah, an eggnog. I know that it may sound a little weird drinking raw eggs, but then I am here to show you a recipe in which the eggs are cooked. It will taste absolutely brilliant. Let's go on to the ingredients so that we can make it really quick. And I can hear the bells ringing. So, ingredients now. We will need some milk and four egg yolks, four egg whites, some cream, nutmeg powder, cinnamon powder, caster sugar. Okay, so now that we know all our ingredients, let's get started. I have a pan here. I'm going to take this milk and add to the pan. Hmm. So our milk is set. Now to this milk, I'm going to add some nutmeg powder. Okay, don't go really heavy on the nutmeg because you know it's a little aphrodisiac. So tiny bit, huh? Okay, now some cinnamon powder. So while all of this is in there, a little trivia about eggnog. Usually, people used to drink eggnog while they used to have this concoction of the milk and all the spices and everything and the eggs would be raw. So a lot of people suffered through salmonella which is like a bacteria that usually grows on the shelves of the eggs. But what we are going to do here is we are going to cook our eggs. The best part about this is you need not get worried after your party that oh my god I am going to get a disease. With this recipe, nothing is going to happen to you. We're going to have a blast this Christmas Eve. Let's come back to our recipe. I'm going to stir this in lightly. Now, milk is on heat with all the spices that we require to make this egg now. To this, I'm going to add some cream. Now, while you're adding cream, you have to be a little careful about the fact that it should not curdle. So, keep it on a low flame. The idea is not to boil the milk. The idea is only to heat it for a while so that it all gets infused really nicely. So some cream now. So round about 2-3 dollops of cream. It already smells good. I mean, I always thought why did people drink eggnog but now I know why. Because it's actually good. Alright, so while our milk is getting hot, the idea is not to boil like I said. Let's whisk up the egg yolks. So, I have a bowl here. I am going to transfer these egg yolks, so we have 4 egg yolks, into this bowl. So checking on the milk, I think it's almost done. Yeah, it is done. It's smelling really good. And this is something I would love to drink on every Christmas Eve. So I am going to turn the flame down now. Yes, the heat is off. We need to whisk the egg yolks. I am going to be using this machine. It's a nice fancy tool. You can be using a whisk if you like to. So whisking our egg yolks. Now to this, I'll be gradually adding some sugar. You must have seen that I've not added any sugar to that milk. That is because I'm adding sugar here in the yolk mixture. So it is important to know that you do not add any sugar in that, all right? This is about one third cup of a sugar. So gradually mix it in. Oh my god, one important thing that I totally forgot to tell you. The sugar that I'm using is caster sugar. It's not the normal sugar. It's really readily available, so get it from the supermarket. Cool, so that's about it. This is the kind of consistency that we want. It should be dripping, not too thick because this is not a cake. So the yolks here are done. They are really well done. Now the milk, we are going to pour in some milk, it's called tempering. Basically the temperature of the milk and the temperature of the yolks are different, right? So before we add in our eggs to the mixture, we will bring it to the temperature of the milk. That's tempering. So a little bit of this milk. Now I am going to mix it. So you need not worry about the air which was incorporated because in any case it's going to get cooked. Now I am going to add it to the milk. So now I've put back the flame on and I'm going to mix it together. 
Hmm, this looks absolutely yum. I mean, it's like so frothy on top and the lovely milk is there and the spices and everything. I mean, what's not to like in this eggnog? Yeah, so this is done. See, can you see all the froth? It's really nice. Okay, I'm gonna turn down the gas now and this mixture, I really want it to chill a bit. So I'm gonna transfer it into another bowl and then put it into the refrigerator till we do some other tricks so that it looks really presentable when my guests come and see it. So yes. Alright, so I'm gonna transfer it now. I'm taking a bowl and this is really hot so caution, kids away. Alright, so my mixture is in the bowl. I'm gonna put it in the fridge and chill it down. So now our basic eggnog mixture is in the fridge chilling. One important thing that you have to know is that after you put in your egg mixture, don't cook it for like really long. Just about 30 seconds to a minute is more than enough. You don't want your eggs to get cooked and become a scramble, right? So now I'm gonna take the egg whites. I'm gonna put it in the bowl and we're going to beat this till we get soft peaks. All right, so I think we've got the soft peaks here. Once you get the soft peaks, add in about one spoon of sugar. Yeah, this is round about that much. This will ensure that we get really stiff peaks. So we've got some really stiff peaks like you can see. This is what we needed. So the stiff peaks are ready and the basic eggnog mixture is also ready. Let's just fold in some of it so that it looks really frothy and yummy. So I'm going to take this spatula. Yum. So just mix it in lightly. So I'm mixing it in and make sure that you don't mix it like totally, totally and make it into like a big slurry. The point is that it should be frothy on top and liquidy on the bottom. So our eggnog is ready. Let me just serve it quickly because my guests are at the door and they are really waiting for this eggnog. So I'll serve it and show it to you. Ta-da! Just like that, my eggnogs are served. And they look lovely. My guests, they are peeking into my kitchen just to drink this. But I'm gonna have the first one right. So, the eggnog. Christmas special, just for you guys. Cheers! Merry Christmas! So just like this eggnog, there are many more recipes in our Christmas playlist. Do watch it. And if there's anything that you like about the Christmas and you want us to make it, just put it on the comment box below. Merry Christmas!